guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a very requested video and it's all about living in Norway and my experiences living in Norway so far. So for those of you who didn't know, I am Franco Canyon and prior to living in Norway, I lived in France. I've been living in Norway for a year and a half. I moved here because of my boyfriend uh, who's Norwegian. And I think in that time, I've been able to see the good, the bad, and the ugly, and I can finally give you an, an all-rounded and subjective as well as objective opinion on what it is like to live in Norway. So the first advice for, for anybody who wants to live in Norway is definitely make sure you have money. Because, child, this is no Eldorado. When I first came to Norway, the first time I went to a grocery store, I was so shocked by the prices. I literally stood in that shop for 40 minutes and looked at stuff, didn't buy anything, and I was thinking, oh my goodness, what did I get myself into? Nothing here is cheap. Like, things are so expensive. I'll give you an example. It's like a stupid example, I'll give you an example. Um, if you want Tabasco, you know, the small bottle of Tabasco in France, it's like 1 euro 50. And here it's 46 kroner, which is about 5, euro, five euros. And so many different examples. There's so many different examples like that, which make you go, oh wow. So the cost of living is crazy. Let's not even talk about renting here. It's very expensive. I'm very lucky that that Bay owns this house, but everything else is like super expensive. Bills, oh my goodness, bills. <laughs> Let's not even talk about electricity and water and all that good stuff, okay? The other thing that I find um, a bit challenging when living in Norway is the weather. Oh my goodness, like what? You know, in winter it gets dark very early, it gets dark at around 3, it's black. At 3 p.m. everything is black and then the sun comes up at or the light comes through at about 9 so you have very very little time to actually enjoy your day but in summer oh my goodness in summer it's practically never dark you have like three four hours of darkness and that is all so it could be midnight and you're walking out it's and it's looking like 5 p.m. that is what I really like about Norway the weather uh, Okay, anyway, back to the weather. When it comes back to the weather, I can say that you have days where it's very, very cold and very bleak. You will not see sun for some weeks on end. And then when you actually do see sun, it's, uh, it's not very long and that sun is not warming at all. It's like, it's all, it almost feels like artificial sun. Like you don't feel the heat on your skin, you know, like you just want heat. And another thing that I have to say, which was very spectacular for me last year, I experienced four seasons in one. Like, it could be spring, and it could snow, and then you have sun, and then you have rain, and fog. Yeah, it's just really, really crazy. I don't know how to explain it, you have to experience it. One thing that I have to say I really, really love about Norway is the beautiful scenery. Guys, you simply cannot imagine how beautiful Norway is. We went on a trip last year to um, Ålesund. And Ålesund is a beautiful city. It's like the Venice. It's we, They actually call it the Venice of Norway. It looks like Venice. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. So, and uh, along that way, we took the car. So we drove all the way from where we are, which is near Oslo. It's about an hour away from Oslo. And we drove all the way to Alisund. Oh my gosh, guys, you have no idea just how gorgeous Norway is. The fjords, the green, like the, the, the green landscapes, far, the farms, everything is just really, really great. The other thing that we're going to talk about is the language. The language is actually not as challenging as you could think it is. It's very close to English. So if you speak English in another Germanic kind of language, good on you, kudos. If you speak French, you will notice there are quite a few words that are similar and I feel like they borrow a lot of words from France from French. So that is definitely a plus. I speak French and I speak English. So it's it was a lot easier for me to actually understand and another way that I've been learning is that I've been learning Norwegian is through TV I put programs in English and I have subtitles and it 
you really learn a lot with subtitles you know you're always learning even without really wanting to learn you always learn new words if you've been working here and you have a child or under certain circumstances i think if you haven't been working but you've been living here and you're allowed to you have like the the uh, some kind of permanent visa or something some kind of permanent residence when you have your child and you're not working you're allowed to uh, you're given up to, how much was it actually? You're given up to, I think it's 6,000 euros of child, child money. I never got any of that money so I don't know how that works out but I do know that you do get about 600 kroner, no 60, oh 6,000 euros for a child and if you if you have been working here and you have child and you've been working for about nine months or six months prior to having yeah six months whilst pregnant or prior to having the child you do get if I'm not wrong 75% of your salary and you get that for up to a year so you can take up to a year off and you do have your salary still so that is really good that's something that is to be commended Norway is actually super super child friendly a lot is done to encourage parents to um, spend time with their children and to actually go out with their children so I like that guys you have no idea just how fresh the air here is I never realized just how polluted the air in France was until I came here this air that we breathe is super super fresh <laughs> I, I I can't believe it every time I go out and I breathe in and out I'm like wow oh my goodness this is this is something else so that's that is just amazing in regards to racism I would say I've not exactly experienced full-on racism but I've experienced a few I've had a few experiences where I felt like it was it was down to race, I have to say. I've had a few I've, I've had a lot more episodes where I felt like race came into play here than in France. And I'm the kind of person who always tries to say, okay, um, I try not to make it a race thing, you know, I try to say, okay, this person is just an idiot, you know. But I felt I, I felt a bit more uh, aware of this issue here than anywhere else in Europe that I've been, actually, I have to say. So one of the things that absolutely shocked me here in Norway was the, um, the level of politeness. I don't know how to, how to put it in another way, you know. I found that people here are a bit rude. Like, they don't say, excuse me, in the shop, you know. Like, if, they're, if you're in front of them, they don't say, excuse me. They just march past you. They can knock you or they can, you know, like, kind of hurt you, like, bump into you, and they don't say, excuse me. They just keep on going on their merrily on their merry route and you're like um, okay you know and that for me was a big big problem because here the other thing that I realized that people are not very accustomed to saying hello to you and I've earned myself the title of the hello police because I insist that people say hello to me especially if you come to our home <laughs> and you're not saying hello like that that's actually something that seems to be socially acceptable here and that has to be the craziest thing for me, that you don't say hello. I was taught that the first thing you have to say to a person that you just meet is hello. I come from the school of hello, please, and thank you. You know, so that was, that was actually something, that was a very big challenge for me. And that's something that I'm never going to accept. You have to say hello to me. And if you don't say hello to me, we have nothing to say to each other. If you love shopping, you're going to be a tad disappointed here because there are not too many options. You know, you don't have as many malls as other countries, but it, it's completely normal. You know, there are not too many people here. There are about five point something million people here, so in the whole of Norway. So it's normal that you don't have as many shops. I was so shocked by the size of grocery stores here. They're actually really, really small. The biggest grocery shops... Uh, the nearest biggest grocery shops have to be in Sweden but here the grocery shops are small they don't have too much variety and they're so pricey it's super it's incredible how expensive the stuff is here I wish you guys could see it's just super expensive you know like one avocado is it's like 35 um, 3.5 euros for one avocado 
I was really surprised by the, some of the prices here. And they don't have food markets like we have in France where, you know, you could just go to like the, a food market and you have cheap stuff and, and like a cheap fresh stuff. No, they don't have that. Um, you don't, you can't buy stuff from, from like uh, farmers. You can buy stuff directly from farmers as in France. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to compare to France because that's like that's my reference point. So you don't, I don't know how to explain, but you have to go buy stuff from the grocery shop, you know. And they're not, there's not a big variety of 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 products, and everything is pretty much the same price. So I don't know how it's it's really strange that way. I I was very surprised when I saw that. But, you know, as I say, there are not too many people here, so it's explained. That's why it's explained. And the, um, the price, the, the, the... When it comes to safety here in Norway, I've never seen this. Like, I'm so, so safe here. I feel very safe here. We can sleep with the doors open, and I think the biggest menace would probably be a stray cat coming in, or... Or who knows, like a moose or something coming in. You would never, it's very rare to hear stories about be, people being mugged or people being kidnapped or something crazy happening here. I think the, the, the biggest crime that happened in this town must have been like 20 years ago, if I'm not wrong. I heard that it was 20 years ago and it was a murder and that was all. Ever since they've not, there's not been a very big crime here so... I don't know how to explain guys, this is such... So guys, it's midnight over here and I have to get my butt to bed. I hope that I answered in enough of your questions. I've So far I think I've answered all of the questions I've received on Norway. If there are any more questions, please write them in the comments and I will make sure to answer them. If there are many questions and I feel like I should do a second part, um, a, a part two of this video, I will definitely do that. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and give me any more video ideas. Bye, guys.